previously in the valley. As explored in a previous video, I managed to marry Haley on spring 18. Can this be beaten? Can I marry her on spring 17? To recap marriage requirements, you need to get friendship to 10 hearts or 2,500 friendship points and purchase a mermaid's pendant from the old mariner's ghost on a rainy day. Let's explore how friendship works. Talking gives 20 friendship a day. Not talking loses two. I can give two gifts each week. For this purpose, Sunday is considered the first day of a week. Gifts can be hated, disliked, neutral, liked or loved. Each category gives a different amount of friendship, which is affected by quality. I will aim to give high quality loved gifts, especially on Haley's birthday which multiplies friendship by 8. Giving at least 2 gifts a week gives an extra 10 friendship points on Sunday morning. Haley also has 3 heart events that grant friendship. I can get 110 friendship points here. Giving a bouquet to start dating gives 25 friendship points. Finally, item delivery quests give a flat 150 friendship points. When you get a quest, an NPC that you have met is chosen as the recipient. Robin and Lewis are met automatically. Well, actually they are met the first time you open your inventory. By additionally meeting only Haley, I can guarantee 6 of these quests for Haley. How does this work? As mentioned in my previous video, the game generates a number between 0 and 1 to determine the kind of quest. This number increases by a set amount each day, and the number needs to be between 0.6 and 1 to be an item delivery quest. What I didn't mention was how the person for the quest is chosen. To choose a person, when the farmer first enters town on a day with an item delivery quest, the game takes every person the farmer knows and puts them in a list in the order that they were met. The same number used to choose the type of quest is also used to choose the person. When three people are met, the last person met will be chosen if the number is above 0 0.6666. When four people are met, the last person met will be chosen if the number is above 0 0.75. Meeting 4 people means that I would only get 5 quests, instead of the 6 I get with 3 people met. When I married Haley on Spring 18, I got to 10 hearts on the 15th. I did this by talking 13 times, giving 4 regular quality loved gifts giving one silver quality loved gift, giving one golden quality loved birthday gift, getting two weekly gift bonuses, completing six item delivery quests, giving one bouquet, and triggering two heart events. This gave me a total of 2,509 points on the 15th. Since it takes three days after proposing to be married, this got me married on spring 18. Can I bring this back? Can I get married earlier? Can I get 2,500 points on spring 14? What if I talk on those two days I missed? What if I manage to avoid triggering the two heart event until I am allowed to meet Emily? What if I manage to get another two loved gifts to be gold quality? How many points do we get on spring 14? 2,495. Five points off. But wait. There is another source of friendship not yet mentioned. 
Once you meet everyone in town, you get 100 friendship points with everyone. I still need to be antisocial to manipulate the billboard, but after collecting the last quest on the 14th, I can race around town and meet everyone, getting 100 more friendship points. And by making it rain on the 14th, I can then go buy the mermaid's pendant. Hmm. Rain. Needing rain on the day that I meet everyone is a problem. Everyone comes out of their house at some point, except for Elliot. And since I am meeting everyone for the first time, I do not have the two hearts required to enter Elliot's house. If I meet Elliot after hailing, Elliot takes the quests meant for Haley. If I meet Elliot before Haley, by having four people met, I lose one billboard quest. So I lose a quest that gains 150 friendship points for the meet people quest that gives 100 friendship points. Yeah, that's not going to work. Getting a quality loved gift the first week would give me an extra 20 friendship points. However, the only quality gift I can get this early is coconuts. And even if I had unlimited G, I could not get to the desert before the 7th. Getting an Iridium quality loved gifts for Haley's birthday would give an extra 120 friendship. To do this, I would need to get 15,000 forage XP by the 13th to be able to choose botanist on the 14th. This may be possible to do on 1.3 when entering mushroom floors in the mines would always spawn mushrooms instead of only the first time on the current patch. Now getting a lot of forage XP fast is a tall order, especially with still needing to make a lot of money and talk to Haley each day. This isn't going to so, what is left? Outsourcing. I made a post on the Stardew Valley forums seeing if there was any source of friendship I had missed. Did this get anywhere? Yes. After discussing a few options, user I'm Envious came up with the brilliant solution. The crafting table. One very important reason to open the inventory is to craft. Robin and Lewis are met when you open your inventory, more specifically when the social page is loaded, which happens when you open your inventory. By purchasing a crafting table, I can access the crafting menu without opening my inventory and without meeting Robin and Lewis. I can then meet Elliot, one other potential person then Haley, I will get all the billboard quests I need and have Elliot met before the rainy 14th so that I can complete the introductions quest for the 100 additional friendship points and give me 95 friendship points of leeway in the process. I won't be able to change zoom settings. I won't be able to change music settings. I won't be able to check skill or social levels. I won't be able to easily rearrange my inventory, but I will have a chance of marrying Haley on the 17th of spring, year one. I have a plan. Let's do this. Day one. All right, let's do this. Time to do some clay farming. This time I'm on the standard farm, so I have a lot of space available for this. A technique used for maximizing your day is to pause the passage of time in a menu to give yourself time to think and react. As I can't open my inventory, I have to use my journal for this purpose. How many times do you think I opened my menu by accident? It happened. I need a counter. Can't even go into the inventory to rewind that. There we go, on top of my head. Planning ahead for going into the mines, I want to be able to craft staircases on day 5. This will let me skip monster floors. To get the staircase recipe, 
I need to get enough mining XP to reach mining level 2 by the end of day 4. I also want to go into the mines with the copper pickaxe, which means getting 5 copper bars and 2000 G available by the second. A copper pickaxe makes breaking rocks in the ice floors 33% easier and breaking rocks in the lava floors 50% easier. Since I will still be using geode farming as my main source of money to get to the desert, being able to break the rocks in half the number of hits will be a massive boost for this goal. On day 1, breaking rocks on the farm give 1 XP. If you get a piece of coal from the rock as well, you get an additional 5 XP. From day 2 onwards, there is an additional roll for coal. If you get coal from this additional roll, annoyingly you don't get the additional 5 XP. All of these drops move up one tile every day. By strategically breaking only the rocks that give each XP on the early days, and then breaking every rock on the 4th, I should get enough XP to get mining level 2. After picking up buckets of clay around the valley, and replenishing energy with spring onions, I meet the problematic Elliot first, and pick up copper from an artifact spot. This copper will trigger the Clint quest to give me the furnace recipe on the morning of day 2, so I can get the bars for upgrading my pickaxe. I sell the clay to give me the G needed for the workbench, and buy it immediately. I also meet Demetrius now, so that it is not an issue when I trigger his cutscene after earning 25,000 G, where he asks to use the cave. I meet Haley third, putting her in the spot I need for getting 6 item delivery quests. Back on the farm, I make use of the workbench and craft myself a chest. This allows me to manage my inventory for the first time. I have enough G left over to buy 3 salads. The energy the salads provide will go into digging up the beach for clay to get me the G required to buy the copper pick upgrade from Clint tomorrow. I also buy a cooking recipe to manip the item Haley will request tomorrow to be a dandelion. Day 2 That's not the watering can. Because Clint was stalking me yesterday, he saw that I picked up some copper ore, so he swings by and gives me the furnace recipe. I can skip this cutscene immediately and avoid actually meeting Clint. I break rocks on the farm for XP, coal and geodes. One of the reasons I chose this seed was that it gives me 45 copper from 5 geodes. Another 20 copper. All the copper I need for making a furnace and smelting 5 bars. Haley is after a handsome young man to give her a dandelion. She gets me instead. I smelt the bars while digging up the beach and get the pickaxe upgrading. I dig up the rest of the beach, gather enough wood for another chest and go to bed. Day 3 Just like in the spring 18 run, I want Friday to be rainy to keep Marnie away. The number of steps I have taken by the end of this day determines the weather for Friday. Since I am counting steps already, I might as well manipulate the dish of the day for tomorrow. Ideally, I would get spicy eel for the speed and luck boost when mining. Unfortunately, there wasn't a low step count to get both the rain and the spicy eel I need. so. I go for pancakes, a foraging buff food, which will make getting golden quality coconuts easier. I use a combination of the pause buffering and stutter stepping methods to keep the number of steps I have taken trackable. Welcome to the rest of the day. I till the beach, talk to Haley, buy some coffee ready for the mines, buy a Joja Cola for a future billboard quest, and go to sleep. Unfortunately, I took an extra step somewhere and didn't get it raining on Friday. I have to redo the day. To save me and my viewers sanity, this time I use the silly walk method to not take steps. Day 4 
another step minute day. This time, I want to have high daily luck to help find ladders when in the mines. I also need to get the forage level 2 and mining level 2 today. 12 trees gives me the forage XP, and after collecting my pickaxe, mining all the stones left on my farm gives me the mining XP. I fulfill a quest to give Haley a Joja Cola, buy the backpack upgrade, buy the pancakes, one recipe, and blow the rest of my G on salads and coffee. I nail the step minute and have perfect daily luck for the first mining day. Day 5. Another reason for choosing this seed is that there are coconuts in the cart for 500 G each. Hmm, I shouldn't have blown my G on salads and coffees. As gifts reset on Sundays, I have to gift today and tomorrow. I take a break from mining to open some geodes, sell some minerals and buy the coconuts. Then I can gift Haley. I make it to floor 75 by the end of the day. Day 6. More mining. My first attempt ends in disaster. My original plan was to use elevators for void spirit and diamond farming for my money needs. This is the strategy used in the min max route. One of the benefits of this is that you get combat XP to unlock explosive ammo, and it gets you deep in the mines ready to collect the skull key for early skull caverns dives. Since I am not interested in the skull caverns or explosive ammo, I change my strategy on the second attempt and revert back to geode farming. So I get my farm walk open, I'll get the ruby, I'll get the geode, I'll get the ladder. RNG. However, I do have a new strategy. Geologist gives you a 50% chance to get two gems when you break a gem node. However, this also applies to geodes. So if I click this geologist button here, you'll see that on this, on floor 81, a rock there, there and there will give me two magma geodes. I also have options for omnis down here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to abandon the diamond hunting and instead try a geologist geode farming strategy. So that's what it looks like. Without geologist I've got four or single geode spots. With Geologist, I get three double Magma Geode spots and one double Omni Geode spot. I take a break from geode farming to trigger the community center, fulfill another quest for a Jojo Cola, give the second coconut for the week, and trigger the wizard's letter that allows me to actually donate to the CC. I also read the scroll in the CC. I read the scroll in the CC. I forgot to read the scroll in the CC. Fortunately, chat noticed, and I actually read the scroll in the community centre. Day 7. Level 5 Mining. Selecting Geologist unlocks a new strategy on the seed. Elevator Geode Farming. And we get our double frozen geodes like that. I have a rock immediately beside the elevator that drops two frozen geodes. By cutting out all walking time, very little in-game time passes between each rock break. Unfortunately, it takes a lot of real life time to do this strategy. Fortunately for you, you get the YouTube edit. At 12, I do my chores. After drinking something funny at the wizard, I head into town. My first stop is to get some coffee. Oh, 
no. I'm going to have to come back for the coffee. These mixed seeds. They took up a slot and I can't trash them. Since I'm not opening my inventory, I can't delete it easily. Though, once I donate to the community centre, I have plenty of space. Still, it would be good to get rid of the seeds. Mix seeds. Have a nice day. Since I don't have all day, I go back to regular geode farming on floor 81. Day 8. More geode farming. Since geode farming has gone so well, I may be able to complete the vault ahead of schedule. Geode opening segment. I also complete a Haley quest, this time a potato. Day 9. Disaster. Oh no, I've met Demetrius. Good thing we accounted for that. Now that all the money needs are met, the days just zip by. While waiting for the bus driver, I search for a fire quartz for the quest tomorrow. I collect a few more Omni Geodes and travel to the desert to pick up a golden quality coconut and a couple of desert warp totems. The warp totems are critical to avoiding Marnie tomorrow. I get the coconut and go to bed. Day 10. See ya Marnie, don't wait too long. I get another gold quality coconut and give Haley a much needed fire quartz. I also become her hero by opening a jar of pickles. Day 11. I collect the final gold quality coconut. Watch this. I talk to Haley and go to bed. Day 12. I step minute to make it rain on the 14th, as the mariner only comes in the rain, and go to bed. Day 13. I talk to Haley and sleep. I can't humiliate Abigail this run as triggering the egg hunt meets Lois and causes him to take over the billboard. Maybe next time. Day 14. Proposal day. I collect the final quest, which is for a red mushroom. I also get access to my inventory. I can check my skills menu. Level 2 combat, I'm a bumpkin. What's my social like? Zoom! Screenshots! Sound settings. Exit game. In order to not waste any friendship points, I need to order this right. I start with giving Haley a gold coconut. I then give a bouquet to unlock the final two parts. You want to get more serious? I feel the same way. How about we get married today? I talk and finish the last quest. Nine hearts. Now all I need to do is meet everybody for the first time. That's 10 hearts. Marry me. I accept. Do you know it is possible to marry someone when they like you less than a complete stranger? That hurt, what's your problem? Zero hearts. 17th of spring, year one. We're getting married to someone who likes us less than someone we never actually talk to. Lois and Robin, we never actually talk to them. Well, there you go. We did it. Married on spring 17, year one. The absolute earliest it can be done. Or is it? <laughs>